all of you welcome back once again in this video i'll give you a complete roadmap if you are a Hmong developer then how you can take yourself into web3 development what are the tools what are the technology which you have to learn in that way you will not waste your time you will not waste your energy you will keep yourself relevant in the industry because there are multiple things we have at the moment but you don't need to focus in all those things which has less utility in the industry as well as you will get a chance to get into the company as an internship or getting into any particular project so that's what we're going to talk about in this video extensively what should be your roadmap which you have to follow to master blockchain develop before i talk about the roadmap i just want to know that what you have learned in Hmong development like if you come from Hmong development we have the most important technology which we use in the web3 ecosystem or web2 ecosystem for building any kind of application so if you come from Hmong, you have probably work on uh, javascript frameworks you have work on some sort of react framework or next.js framework or you have worked some sort of backend APIs like Node.js. So you already know all of these tools which we use heavily when we have to make any kind of application in decentralized ecosystem. Like when it's come to uh, blockchain development, there you build a smart contract which execute on the chain and that's interact with the front end. But if you want to build a front end or you can build any kind of interactive element, you need this technology, you can't avoid it. So when you come from that background, you already have 60% upper hand as compared to those who are absolute newbie, don't know anything about the technology. So you already have the upper hand. Now, the fund that you have to focus is that you have to focus on the relevant technology because you have the foundation about the Web2 technology, you have the coding, that's all you have. Now you have to learn about the blockchain, the architecture, the technology we utilize for writing the smart contract, how we can make ourselves more efficient, what are the tools, what are the softwares, what are the programs, that's all you have to understand. So the first thing you have to focus on fundamentals. This one is really very important because if you don't understand the fundamental, that's going to create a huge problem when you will start working on a large scale application. Where you're going to hurt these kind of terms like consensus layer, PO, POW. There is terms of layer or terminology we have in the blockchain field. So you have to know because when you go to talk with the developer working in the field, they're going to realize this. So you have to build your foundation. In that you have to focus on the core concept. Like the concept you have to know about decentralization, what it is, what it stands for, why it's different from the central system we have at the moment. What are the loopholes we have in the in the central system which solved by this decentralized ecosystem? That's what you have to understand. You have to understand with the you have to understand the difference between this ecosystem because these are the two different ecosystems. Centralized, it's controlled by the authority or particular organization, a group of people. But when you come to a decentralization, how it's work, how it's execute, why it's called decentralized. So you have to understand, you have to build your foundation on top of it. Then the next one we have is the concession mechanism. Because we have multiple layer and we have multiple model which different blockchain follow. So right now we have POS, POW. Like POS is the recent one which transform from POW. So you have to know what is POW, POS. If you know, just let me know in the comment section that what is stand for POW, what is stand for POS. Just let me know in the comment section. You have to know about this terminology. After that, you have to focus on block. But what is block on the chain? When you execute any transaction, the data goes somewhere. You often heard this term block. You often heard this term transaction. What are these terms? You have to know. You have to do a little bit debugging into this. Then you have to know about the cryptography. That how this cryptography exactly work. Why this hashing algorithm follow whenever you perform any kind of transaction? How the wallet generation is happened? Why that particular address which you will get is a unique identification of your wallet which you're going to use for making the transaction. So you have to understand this hashing algorithm which we have at the moment which is really popular in the cryptographic. So you have to understand about it. After that you have to move to some core concept like Ethereum basic. The reason why I'm highlighting Ethereum is a very widely used chain. There you will find multiple contracts. If you are a blockchain developer you will find multiple contracts. Right now we have tons of blockchain but we are focusing on the core technology from where everything got evolved. We have some loopholes in every single technology. And that's why you will find multiple blockchain is coming on. And they're bringing some sort of new feature in terms of scalability, in terms of transaction, like different blockchain has different utility. But focus on Ethereum. This will give you a better understanding that what was the problem and why so many blockchain exist. So focus on the basics of Ethereum in that you can master smart contract. How we execute contract on Ethereum ecosystem. What is EVM, EVM compatible chain? What is GAS? What is token? What type of model of token we have? Like we have ERC20, we have ERC721. So what does this stand for? What are the architectures follow? 
So you have to understand this terminology. You have to understand this Betty architecture, which you will utilize for any cryptographic, for any token development. And you might be thinking that from where you will learn this, like there is multiple resources which you can find online, or you can take this particular bootcamp which we have, where we have followed mainly on the practical stuff, where we have learned the entire programming language, Solidity, smart contract. We have used Web3 packages, which you will use extensively when you will start working on a decentralized application for making connection with the blockchain for getting the data for designing the data that's all we have done extensively in this particular bootcamp which you can check so let's come back to the topic so once you're done with this first phase in that you have learned about the core you have learned about the basics of ethereum then you have to focus on the second phase of the roadmap in which you have to focus on salty the reason why i'm telling you to learn salty programming language because it's widely used at the moment you will find that we have multiple evm compatible chains in that you can write the salty code and you can deploy your contract even you can write in slitter you can write in go but these programming language has less community less contract so when you will stuck somewhere you won't find any community which help you but in case of in case of solidity then you will find multiple frameworks are there multiple libraries are there which you can utilize it so not all the time you have to code everything from scratch because if i want to have certain feature i have the npm package which i can install and I can use it in the same way in solidity programming language we have open zeppelin it's a powerful library and all the contract which you will find in the library is well audited and you can trust that so learn sorority there you will find community there you will find support there you will find pre-existing code which you can use to monitor it uh, modify and use it in your project so solidity programming is absolutely must then you have to focus on decentralized tools which we have to write in the smart contract so the most popular tools you will find at the moment is hardhat and truffle so you can use any one of these tools like hardhat is one of the easiest framework which you can use for writing the smart contract and you can test it it has multiple library support in build so you can simply use the unit testing and you can do all of that so it is widely used at the moment for testing a smart contract and you can go with the truffle there is no problem in that but i would recommend you to go with the hard hat because that's what i have seen personally whatever project i have worked it's widely utilized hard hat when it's come to testing the contract and all the company which they want their contract to be tested or audited we use this particular framework so you can go with that but it's open you can use truffle or you can use hard hat once you're done with that after that you have to learn about the security that what are the loopholes we have in the smart contract what are the hacks happened in the past due to that contract got compromised and a lot of people have lost their phone so you have to learn about the attacks different type of attacks happen in the smart contract like re-entrance attack is the best most popular attack which you will find there's multiple so you have to understand you have to learn about it so you can able to prevent any kind of bug in your contract so learn about it so these are the three things is very important learn solid programming language learn the hard art framework which is very relevant and you can able to do a lot of things then you have to focus on the security aspect of the contract these are the core concepts which you have to focus and you have to spend your time because now whatever i'm going to tell you you already know that so you come from Mong developer you know how to use nextjs or react or you're already familiar with javascript framework so you can easily able to build your front end where you can easily able to interact with a smart contract because all the libraries which you will find all the framework which you will find that's all use somehow or other use the javascript framework like you can simply install and you can simply connect with the dApp and you can make the transaction. So most of the library which you will find, it's already in JavaScript, which you can utilize it. So you have to know about it because no matter how much you learn, how much time you spend on this theoretical concept, on this tools and software, writing smart contract, testing, unless or until you not build something meaningful, which is going to solve some sort of problem in the real world, it's not going to help you. So you have to build actual project. So if you are coming from Hmong development, I would give you this three project first one you have to build is nft marketplace so we have this particular project on our channel it's close to 18 hour long where we have built the entire front end entire smart contract entire back end integration blockchain connection so simply follow this entire project there you will learn every single thing about the smart contract development so you have to build this particular project after that you have to build unisop clone we already have this particular project on our channel which you can follow and that you will learn the core fundamentals about the smart contract when it's come to decentralized finance because then you will know that how multiple contracts communicate with one another how approval of the token happen how the fund and transfer and withdrawal will happen how the staking will happen how the swap will happen so there's tons of concept which you have to move your head around so you have to build this particular project if you really want to gain the understanding about the contract about the fundamentals we have in the decentralized financial system after that i would suggest you to build these two projects like first one is the decentralized chat application there you will learn that how you can build a complex smart contract and provide a security and the second one you can build is the decentralized voting dab in which you will understand that how you can build a organizational dab which can execute automatically on the chain 
So this four project is absolutely must for you. Once you will build that, you already have a very good understanding about the blockchain and how decentralized app work. Now is the time you have to focus on the layer two solution we have at the moment. Like scalability is the huge concern when it's come to building a decentralized application. So we have multiple blockchain for that to solve this particular issue. So we'll have to learn about the scalability in the blockchain. That what are the layer two blockchain we have? The reason why I told you to build this four project because you will automatically build your portfolio. So once you done all of that, now is the time to apply for internship and job. If you think that I'm going to sit at home and I already have my portfolio, I will send the resume into one or two company. That's not going to happen. So you have to constantly apply for internship, for job. Just go to the particular portal where you will find that this is the Web3 company. Check out the requirement, what they want you to have in your skill set. And according to that, you have to build your resume because sometimes the company will have a different demand. What I have seen personally that most of the students same the, send the same resume to every single company. Don't do that. You have to make your resume relevant to that company because most of the resume go to the like automated software verification. After that, it go to HR. So you don't need to make that mistake. You have to give two to three months. When you will give that, definitely you will get it. Definitely you will get it. If you have the skills, you will get it. If you know what you have built, understood your work, you will be appreciated in the industry. So this is the roadmap which you have to follow. If you are a Hmong developer, so I hope you have got a complete understanding that what are the things you have to cover. Make sure to check this particular bootcamp in which we have learned all of the relevant technology which you have to know. And we have built one of the powerful applications which is going to communicate with multiple contracts to provide hyper secure system with a meaningful business solve business which we are providing on the chain. So that's the only thing from my end. I hope you have got an idea that what exactly you have to follow and how you have to follow. So with that, I'm ending this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye. -bye.